Howdy partner, welcome back to one of my videos. Now, you may be watching this video, you've seen the title and the thumbnail, and I just want to say, this is in no way in one shape or form hate to Rec Room. I love those folks at the Rec Room HQ and stuff like that, and, um, <clears throat> I'll reiterate this video with the uh, three Rec Room things I love eventually, but, um, for right now, let's talk about three Rec Room things that I hate. Starting us off with number one on our list, we have the UI, and more specifically, the lag that comes with this new UI. Now, if you've played Rec Room for more more than just a few years, you probably remember the old UI and how it used to be all cartoony and stuff, and it was great, and now we have this new UI. Have your opinions, have your opinions, I know, I know. But honestly, I don't mind that much. New UI looks okay to me, I like the way it looks, but it just runs so bad. Have you guys ever just randomly been inside Rec Room chilling one day, and you decide to open your watch? Have you ever? And then, and then when you open your watch, your game stutters or just stops working for a few seconds? That is so annoying. Immersion killed dreams crushed no seriously um it gets pretty bad though and honestly for recording and having to be in rec room all the time it gets kind of frustrating too because i use my ui a lot so remember um i love you rec room ui team i love what you guys are doing and stuff and hopefully you guys will get it sorted out soon but this lag is killing me sometimes there's also plenty of other things that i can complain for the ui about and stuff like that but i'll leave that up to the professionals I i'm not a professional i look you just I, I just play the game to be honest for number dos on our list we have have current day prices and the Rec Room economy as a whole right now. I remember back when I used to play Rec Room in 2018, 2019, the max you'd find items priced for were for a few thousand, not over 10,000. I will admit Rec Room has gotten a lot better along with the UI situations and the pricing situations a lot more recently and stuff, but it's still kind of expensive. Now I'm kind of biased as, you know, token purchases, you know, support me and stuff like that as I have a code and, and yeah, maybe if things are more expensive, it gives me more money and stuff like that, but I feel like more people would actually genuinely start buying tokens if they knew that they would be able to maybe afford an item. 10k is insane. Insane. Same goes with UGC items. Now I know those are not made by Rec Room and stuff like that, but to the creators of UGC items, I love you. Keep doing what you're doing, of course. And I mean, I have UGC on right now, but please, please don't make it too expensive. I've had a few interactions with this maid dress that I even have on, and people have looked at the prices and stuff like that and be like, oh no, I cannot afford that. It, it's, it's, it, I stuttered so bad right there. Oh my gosh. It, it gets bad. So cheaper items, please. Now, a counter argument to this could be like, if you don't like the price of that item, you just don't buy it and stuff. And first off, one, this is my video, I do not care what you have to say. Second off, I totally agree that you should vote with your actual wallet. Of course, if you don't like the price of something, you shouldn't buy it because that shows that you support, you know, things being priced that way. But with your wallets, people, and it's kind of hard to organize people for that type of stuff, to be honest. Now, I can go on and on and on about prices and stuff like that, but all I want for them is to just simply be cheaper. That's it. I don't have any data, and I would love to say that it would benefit, you know, token sales and stuff like that if things were cheaper. But to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if that doesn't end up happening. Of course, though, we'll wait and see, and we'll stay hopeful. Just gotta say honorable mention to my my actual channel memberships. That is right, I have channel memberships, and they're just like a YouTube Patreon, but basically, they just give me money every single month, and I give them perks like being shouted out, and getting sneak peeks to videos and stuff. You got the gist, right? Great! Then these people include Greengrass VR, Iron Guys, Any, Fire God 82, Baguettes, Default, Curb 102, Kirby Fan, Kobe Fan 76, Daytrix, Hydro, Nolan, The Dragon Boy, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Chase, BBB, Burning Owl, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69, and of course, Box David. <laughs> Thank you so much, and let's get back to the video. And for my third Rec Room thing that I absolutely despise, I do just want to say that Rec Room has been getting a lot better at this recently. They've been doing it really well, and even this last latest community event, which was Recon, was amazing. The same yearly event. I despise it. I hate it. If the only thing that changes that event is the color, not the map, or any of the cool features, I'm talking about examples like the older Recons, Invasion, even some of the Winter Wonderland stuff that they used to have. For at least a few years, I think about 2020, 2020, 22 around that area, I want to say. Rec Room had the same yearly events, and the only thing that they would change, at least for Recon, would be like the color of the hoodies, the color of the map, and that's pretty much it. Events and etc. would change a little bit too, but like we saw the main map, everything kind of looked the same, and I'm not a big fan of that. I feel like having something different each year, even if it is just like a map change and stuff like that, is just nice, refreshing, and it even gives people a reason to even get on for that actual event. I feel like Recon with this year was so nice and refreshing because it had a different map, it had different features 
features and stuff like that, but it was still the same thing. Obviously, I hope Retcon next year is a little bit different from what we had this year, but of course, we will just wait and see. Another case where this had happened, well, not yearly and stuff like that, was Invasion. Invasion was just a repeat of the next, of the next, of the next. It was bad. In my opinion, having different content or features inside the same events or just different events every single time is a lot better in my opinion, to be honest. It's just so refreshing. It's like drinking a nice cold glass of water and it's not stale. I think that's my biggest pet peeve is when the events are the same. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it because I get so hype and then I'm like, oh wait, this literally looks like last year's. It's also kind of one of the reasons why I avoided streaming a lot of retcons and stuff like that because it was just the same thing. But this recent retcon was pretty good. Let me know what you guys think and what things that you don't like about Rec Room and stuff like that. Remember that this is no, you know, hate video to Rec Room or anything like that. It's just things that have happened in Rec Room that I didn't really like. Take it as feedback if you want or take it as just an entertaining video. I, I don't mind. A little honorable mention here in the last bit of the video, but it's people who don't use a code at all and they buy tokens and stuff. Why not? Just, just why not? I don't even care if it's not even mine. It could be someone else's, but if you're not using anyone's, why not? And hey, I mean, if you're not using anyone's, you could use mine. I'm just saying. You're watching this video now. I mean, you gotta like me somehow. You made it this far. So, uh, yeah, totally use my code. This was just a, a whole reason to plug my code, to be honest with you. But yeah, if you guys uh, want to watch some more, you know, Requiem videos and stuff like that, I usually cover news and updates and crap like that. You guys can check out my recent videos like that on that side of the screen and stuff. I'm pretty sure my last video, I talked about some unreleased UGC. If you're interested in that, feel free to check that out. And of course, please tell you. 3, 2, 1, start. 3, 2, 1, start. 3, 2, 1, start.